Hi everybody. Well, you all know that I'm a big Iron Harvest fan. In fact, it was my game of the year 2020. But unfortunately, I've been so busy with Daisy content, Daisy modding content, PUBG, Call of Duty stuff, that I have fallen behind with the game, and specifically the dev blogs and update logs. And I haven't even touched the new Rusviet Revolution DLC that they released um, about a month ago. So in this video, I'm just going to be catching up with the dev blogs and updates just so that we can all, if uh, this is your main way of getting the updates, get back up to speed with this amazing RTS that I, I can't recommend enough. It's, it's so good. Dev blog 32, the new game mode. Incoming new game mode, season tree, DLC, tournament, and so much more updated. New drop zone game mode is it a bird is it a plane it's a crate and we need it for the war effort today we introduce new game mode called drop zone to the world of 1920 plus in drop zone players race to collect stockpiles containing victory points as they are airdropped across the map the first player to collect enough victory points wins multiple stockpiles can drop simultaneously and they take time to collect protecting drop stockpiles while securing future drop zones is the key to victory drop zone available on all existing skirmish multiplayer match can be played in ranked quick and custom matches hopefully that means we can play against ai woohoo new season tree to unlock today also marks the end of the first iron harvest season mech commanders have returned from battlefield with all manners of trophies and rewards season two begins with a whole new set of goodies to unlock the ranks leaderboard will also be reset congratulations to all these commanders for making it to the top of the board well done all in the top 15 receive, will receive a Season 1 Elite title to honour your labours. Rusviet Revolution DLC Over 100 years ago, the real revolution, Russian Revolution came to a halt when the Red Forces won the final battles at the Krim. However, the alternate history of 1920 plus has never seen this kind of revolution until now. December the 17th marks the day the Rusviet people will rise up against the Tsar. Players will follow an additional storyline over the course of four new single-player maps, shedding some light on the mysterious Rasputin. New Rusviet Revolution add-on storyline will explore the mysterious Rasputin over four new single-player but co-operable maps. It's released on December the 17th, and they're free to all Kickstarter backers and digital deluxe owners. However, it's only €3.99 through Steam, Good Old Games, or the Epic Game Store, which is... You know, it's it's a bargain, guys. You, you know, it's, when I first saw that it was free for Kickstarters and Digital Deluxe, I was like, oh, but when I thought it was only three ninety nine, I bought it straight away. Um, the Fall ESL Tournament, well, that's been and gone. Uh, free Demo Weekend, Change Log. S Skill raking and gain or lost after rank match is now based primarily on your opponent's hidden matchmaking ma matchmaking rating MMR. Winning against more skilled opponents grants more skill rating compared to winning against less skilled components. Okay, so balance changes. I'll, I'll miss all that. But I'll, I'll put the links to King Art's website in the description below the video so you can check it out if you like. Uh, balance changes. November's highlights. Party invite system they introduced. The new 1v1 Mac, map Dark Forest we had. You can now destroy barbed wire. And then December's roadmap. Well, we're going to find out about it next, aren't we? So let's move on. Iron Harvest Change Log 12. So this was released on December the 3rd, 2020. Uh, greetings, Harvesters, to the 12th of our regular post-release updates. This week, we add a feature that will calm many maniac mech commanders and add a host of general changes and fixes. Like an infantry squad that's just spotted a crate drop falling from the sky. Let's get right into it cancelable upgrades we've all been there you're in the heat of battle and you decided to make the investment to upgrade your production buildings and start kicking out the big boys but then the tide of battle sun changes and you need those resources elsewhere or maybe you simply misclicked well now panic no further you can cancel that upgrade order for upgrade order for a full refund this is another implementation we're happy to make in response to player feedback yeah i've done that before so that's good so when you upgrade your barracks or your workshop you can go no no don't upgrade it give me the stuff back Free demo extended. Recent reviews, very positive. Some changes, we won't worry about those. Balance changes. Right, so that's that one done. Excellent. Iron Harvest Change Log 13, which came out on December the 10th, 2020. 
Faster queue times. Greetings, Harvesters, to the 13th of our regular post-release updates. Nothing unlucky about it. This week, we also focus on decreasing queue times by adding a feature that shares matchmaking. We also implement several fixes and improvement requested by the community. Shared matchmaking. We know you're eager to get into battle and feast upon the mechanized end trials of your enemy. Therefore, we're happy to oblige by refining the game's matchmaker to more quickly pair combatants with their most suitable foes. Um... Okay, well, I don't play online, um, so I'll forget that. Balance changes, they're monitoring it. They're, they're nice small ones, these ones. Maybe I didn't miss too much. Iron Harvest Deb Blog 33, December 2020. So this one came out on December the 17th. So we're starting to catch up. Embrace the icy winds of change with the Rusviet Revolution DLC, the free demo and sale, as well as holiday cosmetics. So the Rusviet Revolution came out, which is good. I love the artwork. Don't you love the artwork? Iron Harvest. Iron Harvest. Free demo, holiday cosmetics. So that's been and gone. And then, if you were a backer, a DLC owner, you got a special gold-plated trim portrait of help of support. Skill rating, balance changes. Okay, so that was it. Okay. And we finally get up to date with Iron Harvest Change Log 15, uh, which was from January the 15th. New abilities. Greetings, Harvesters. We hope you've had a great festive gaming season and welcome back to this, the 15th of our regular post release updates. Over the break, we've had time to plan how we're going to develop during 2021, with our major priorities being Iron Harvest big first big add on with a new faction and the game's console release Ooh. so that we can better focus on these milestones we're now moving to an update schedule of every two weeks read on and gain the ability of knowledge new abilities today sees the release of new abilities for two of our iconic heroes heroes prince willem lay waste so this is active so you've got to trigger this he can now fire from both arm mounted weapons in a great uninterrupted sweeping outwards arc devastating entrenched infantry Uncle Letkos has the Vicious Tackle, which again is an active ability. Pushing his mech to the limits, he'll leap forward, trampling any infantry in his path, and attacking the first mech he hits. Cool. Uncle Letkos also has Patriotic Frenzy, which is passive. The stalwart of the Polanian Resistant inflicts increasing damage in proportion to his health loss. Alright, so as he gets more damaged, he makes more damage. General changes... Added tutorial for drop zone, added tutorial for opening gates. Fix the bug that resulted in the loss of 2SR uh, when an opponent quit or surrendered. Added gold trim faceplate and portrait for all backers on Rusviet Revolution DLC owners as a thank you for gaming with us in 2020. They continue assessing balance changes and what we're looking for probably next week is a new 2v2 map. Right, so there we go. We're back up to speed with Iron Harvest. Gosh, you know, sometimes there's just not enough time in the day, is there, to play all these amazing games. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I need to get on and play the Rusviet Revolution. Anyway, Iron Harvest, check it out. Buy it. If you, even if you're not into RT, if you're into RTSs, it's definitely worth having to go. If you're not into RTSs, it's a brilliant game. It will get you into RTSs. It's so much fun. Looks beautiful, and the story is really cool too. Um, and it's great value for money. And don't think you've got to play against other players online. No, 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 no. You can play the campaign, which goes on for ages, and the skirmish mode, which you can play against enemy AR, which is great fun. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.